Hello doctors, Dr. Kronk here, and today um, we're gonna go over the You Can't Eyeball It challenge that we have going on at Spinal Kinetics. Um, there's a lot of misinformation, a lot of myths out there that doctors think that they can eyeball things and determine which patients should go in for excessive motion testing and which patients can't. I'm telling you that I've been doing this for so many years. I built more systems and I've reviewed more x-rays than anybody in the country on this topic. You absolutely cannot eyeball these things. That's why we're so excited about this challenge. So if, you t if I put these x-rays that you're looking at right here up, I don't care if there's 100 chiropractors in the room or 100 radiologists in the room or 100 neurosurgeons in the room, nobody's going to pick out the exact level with any kind of consistency. You might guess. Somebody might guess it right. It's like winning the lotto. You could guess, but that's all you'd be doing is guessing right so this patient right now that you're looking at right here has a surgical level of damage so when we look at when i would say surgical level of damage so when we look at when we look at uh these injuries this is an angular finding right so this thing angulates too much and that's what we're looking for that's called an angular finding now when it angulates and it actually tears up both the capsular ligament and the interforaminal ligament, this thing swells right into the nerve, right? We also have a thing called uh, translational ligament injury. That's what these look like. That's what this back and forth motion looks like. That right there, that back and forth motion, that's a translation injury. And then we also have injuries into the upper cervical spine. Right? These things are, these things are not, these things are not uh, sight, they're measured. It's a measured phenomenon. Right now, if I held up, tell, held up your hand, you can see there's different angles between my fingers. But nobody's going to sit there in a deposition and say, well, doctor, what's the angle between your index finger and, and your ring finger? Or what's the, between your index finger and your middle finger? What, how much is that angle? How much is this angle? Nobody can do that. Nobody can determine that. So you are going to miss badly. Oh, uh, findings, like I said, on these x-rays, there are findings here that the patient actually has a surgical level of ligament damage. This patient requires a doctor that understands what they're doing with this. They're at very high risk for long-term residual complaints, things that don't ever fully go away. So the conservative care provider that they pick is really relevant because if a doctor is treating this and they don't know it's there and they don't know how to treat it and they don't know how to manage it, you're not going to get as good a result. So let's just look at the findings of this x-ray, right? There's a rateable level of ligament damage for an angular finding at C2. Now that qualifies the patient under surgical guidelines, the surgical guidelines that I just flashed to you. It qualifies that patient under surgical guidelines for preauthorization for spinal fusion surgery. Now, again, the patient needs a doctor that understands this condition. What do I do to treat it? What modalities am I going to use to treat it? How am I going to manage the patient? What's the expectations from treatment? What's the expectations that I can see for, for uh, you know, the results of this permanent injury? In other words, permanent injuries are permanent. If I break my neck, if I fracture my vertebra by 25% compression fracture at C5, that's permanent. But how I respond to that is not permanent. The symptoms that get generated from it are not permanent. That's what rehabilitation is all about. So 30% of your patients right now have surgical levels of these injuries. If you're an attorney listening to me right now, 30% of your clients actually have these, this condition. And if it's not been diagnosed, I can tell you what the patient, I can tell you an indicator that you might have this in your office. If, you, if you're saying, hey, I might have this, what, you, what would you look for, Dr. Kronk? I'd look for a patient that's not responding to care, that's not doing well. That's what I'd look for. That's what you should look for in your law offices, is the same thing. So now, again, if we look at this and we want to get into the mild traumatic brain injury space, the cervical injury is the most prominent injury because that cervical injury that we have measured now, remember on these same x-rays that I put up, that I could put up in front of 100 radiologists or 100 chiropractors, and basically no one picks up these findings, these findings are serious enough that they'll cause all the symptoms that are associated with a mild traumatic brain injury, and they're at a surgical level, and guess what? We haven't even had the MRI yet. That's why we're excited. We're excited about this challenge, so let me tell you a little bit about the challenge. 
The challenge is pretty simple. It's called the You Can't Eyeball It Challenge. And basically, you just click the link below, and we'd appreciate your participation. We want to show the world that you can't eyeball these things, right? Now, in order to do it, we're going to give you a chance to win 500 cash. I don't care if you want it in pennies, quarters, dimes, nickels, dollars, hundreds, fifties. We're going to give you 500 cash, okay? And all you have to do is scroll down, look at the x-rays, decide which x-ray you think has the finding of alteration, motion, segment, integrity. Give us the level and give us what you think it is, angular or translational finding. Okay, put it in, hit the link below, play with us, please. We need your help. Uh, I want to dispel the world that excessive motion testing should be done on every single patient. If you have a spinal injury patient, you have to have an excessive motion test. It's impossible to determine how badly damaged the patient is without this type of testing. Now, the other thing is, the other reason why we do this is the doctors that understand this type of testing and the doctors that understand and can get great results, they do great workups, they get great results, should be the highest paid doctors in the country today. Like bar none, super highly paid. And that's why we do this. We, we do this to make the doctors that really do this kind of work and can get these kind of uh, results, get great results with these patients, we want them to stand out. So play with us, hit the link below, and let's take the challenge. And hopefully, doctor, that $500 cash is going in your pocket.